My father is greater than I. Coming up next. My father is greater than I. John 14, 28. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to my father. For my father is greater than I. This passage is one that Jehovah's Witnesses like to use to prove that Jesus Christ is not Almighty God. However, this passage does the opposite in that it brings back to a learned Bible student the understanding that John the writer of this epistle of John set out to prove the divinity of Jesus Christ and therefore was showing us that as a man Jesus was subject to the Father, but was no less God, according to Philippians 2, verse 7. Jesus being God took on the likeness of man. He took on flesh, and this is how it reads. But made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men. So in coming to the earth, he took on the likeness of man. Jesus took on both a divine nature and also a human nature. And as such, in his human nature, reverence the Father above himself. Even though he was no less God and equal with God. Here's the proof. Let's look at the preceding verse, Philippians 2, verse 6. Who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. How much plainer can this get? Who being in the form of God, because he is God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, because he is the expressed image or reflection of God. According to Hebrews 1 verse 3, so because of his humanity, Jesus was subject to the Father, but he was no less God. At times we see Jesus reading minds, literally telling especially his detractors their thoughts and intent. Back in Luke 5, 22, it says, But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered and said to them, Why are you reasoning in your hearts? Jeremiah 17, 10, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind even to prove every man according to his ways. According to the fruit of his doings. So we know for certain that only God can read the heart and what a person thinks. So Jesus was fully human and fully God at the very same time. Jesus was able to know the thoughts and intent of the heart. And like I said, only God can do that. John 20 verse 17 reads this way. It says, Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father and to my God and your God. And Jesus has all right to refer to the Father as my Father and your Father because in his human nature the Father 
is absolutely greater than him. But in his divine nature, they are co-equal. So while on earth the Father was greater than him because he made himself subject to the Father. Within the relationship in the Godhead, the Father is also greater as it relates to the relation Father to Son. But not as it relates to power. Because Jesus said, all power has been given unto me, both in heaven and in the earth. Whether you like it or not, Jesus had all power without restriction. And that's why it says in Acts 4, 11 through 12, This is the stone which was rejected by you builders which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So do not make the same mistake as those that reject Jesus as God, because he is the chief cornerstone and the foundation of all things pertaining to our salvation. Let's take another look at Hebrews 1 verse 3, who being the brightness of his glory and express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of majesty on high. So being God, Jesus needing no help, was able to purge our sins by his divine power because all things are governed and upheld by him. He completed his task on the cross and then sat down at the right hand of majesty in heaven. Those that continue to believe that Jesus is not Almighty God will find out at his return if they do not experience an encounter with him through the power of the Holy Spirit but at the point of his return it will be too late however thanks for watching this video and remember there is freedom in truth please subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications also like, leave your comments, and share these videos. I am William Nelson Ryan saying Shalom, and may the peace of God be with you. Until next time.